Hey, what's up, y'all? So, if you're new here, I have been watching and reviewing each episode of the Batman K Crusader animated series. I've reviewed eight episodes. I'm not finished with it yet. I still got nine and ten to watch, but I have reviewed eight episodes. They're all on the channel. So, if you're interested in watching those, please go ahead. I'd, I'd love for you guys to hear my opinions and my thoughts and let me know yours. But before I wrap things up with nine and ten, before I finish it, wrap it up, I wanted to talk about something. So, one of the biggest changes with this show was the gender swapping of the Penguin. They made Penguin a female with a criminal empire and two sons. I, like a lot of people, didn't like or welcome that humongous unnecessary change to the character. I made a whole video talking about it when I reviewed the first episode. But I just saw this this morning. So Bruce Tim, I guess somebody asked him why he decided to make Penguin a female, and he explained the reason why he did this. It's because Batman lacks good villains, and there needs to be more female villains. What? That is the dumbest DC take I have ever heard ever in my life. And I cannot believe this came from Bruce Tim of all people, the same guy who gave us the legendary iconic Batman the Animated Series. This show birthed the entire DCAU, so the Superman show, Static Shock, Batman Beyond, Justice League, Justice League Unlimited, the Zeta Projects, Gotham Girls, all of those TV shows and even other shows that's not even connected to the DCAU and other animated movies, it all came from Batman the Animated Series by Bruce Timm. Bruce Timm, Paul Dini's Andrea Romano, Kevin Conroy, Mark Hamill, and all the guys and, and gals behind the scenes. Bruce Tim said that Batman lacks good villains and there needs to be more female characters. Number one, this is a perfect example of why A, you should let the artwork speak for itself. Batman has tons of great villains and tragic characters. Characters who make him better as a character. His rogues gallery is vast. Batman has almost 100 years of history. So for Bruce Tim to say that Batman lacks good villains, number one is confusing as hell and is ignorant. And what I don't understand is if Bruce Tim really believes this bullshit, because that's what it is, if he really believes this bullshit statement, okay, fine. But why not create new female characters? As a writer and a creator, why don't you write and create? Making the Penguin a female is not creative. That's, that's not writing, that's not, being, that's not being creative. That's like a fat person saying I wanna be skinny and so they start drinking Diet Coke. That's not how it works. Let me give you an example of really creating new female characters. The original animated series back in the 90s had original female characters. We had Red Claw, we had Baby Dog, we had Roxy Rocket. This bitch was wild, this bitch was crazy. She was so cool and, and psychotic and crazy, she was even in the Superman show. We had the Phantasm, Batman Mask of the Phantasm, probably one of the greatest Batman movies ever made. Andrea Beaumont was the Phantasm, completely original character. Harley Quinn, everybody knows and everybody loves Harley Quinn. She came from this show. This show had a number of original characters who were female. Calendar Girl, a really good episode. This wasn't Calendar Man, but a gender swap version. This was literally a different character. This was a character with a completely original, different backstory, different motives, a different look, a tragic, realistic view of herself with self-loathing and low self-esteem. This was solid, and it made for a really good episode. Did you read her rights? Yes, sir. Then she knows they don't include this. She's beautiful. She can't see that anymore. All she sees are the flaws. That's what they did back in the day. This is what Bruce Timm did back in the day, and it made for really good, solid episodes. So for him to say, A, Batman likes good villains, and then B, that he doesn't have a, enough female characters, that is wild to me. Dude, you created a shit ton of female characters for him back in the day when you worked on the 90s show for Fox and Cartoon Network. Why can't you do that today? You gotta take a character 
who's completely established in one way and just gender swap them? And you think that's that that's the answer? That's that's what you think is the answer? That is stupid. That is lazy writing and it's stupid. It's an unnecessary change and change for the sake of change is stupid. And you know, there's people out there talking about why do you care? It shouldn't be a big deal. Number one, that is a weak ass argument. Why do you care? Let me tell you why I care because I grew up with this. From the time I was five years old with the Batman. I've been, I've been watching I've been watching this and, and loving this character in this universe in this world since I was five years old. So when you want to make a change to something and it's a drastic unnecessary change to it, you're, you're, you're dang right I'm gonna care. This makes no sense. I'll give you another example. One of my favorite TV shows of all time is Criminal Minds. Aaron Hotchner, staple of the show, arguably the best part of the show because when he left the show, the show was very different. Really got boring quite frankly for 12 seasons this character was on the show great character great story overall just great when he left the show all us criminal mind fans were angry it doesn't matter why he left but the fact that he was gone it made us angry we, we cared about it why because we love this show we've invested years and years into this show so for a number of people's favorite character to just up and leave it sucks it was disappointing it hurts with this whole thing that they're doing with the penguin making him a female six foot two and everything it is taken it's fixing something that was never even broken to begin with B batman needs more female characters so let's take a man and just make him a woman that's incredibly lazy that is so lazy if you think that batman needs more female characters make a female character Quite frankly, if it were me, if I was handling this, I would have had Sophia Falcone in place of the Penguin. Sophia Falcone, number one, is a character most people don't even know about. The only people who really knows about Sophia Falcone are the people who either A, read Batman The Long Halloween, or B, watched the animated movie that came out a few years ago, Batman The Long Halloween. But Sophia Falcone was the daughter of Carmine Falcone, who was one of the biggest, most badass gangsters in Gotham. And this was around Batman, this was early in his career, this was like year one. But I would have had her in place of the Penguin. Sophia Falcone with the Criminal Empire. That literally, that, that makes sense. She's head of the Falcone crime family. And have her go up against Rupert Thorne in this. Number one, it, it, it gives people an opportunity to see this character more because again, the only people who know about this character are the comic fans or the people who watch The Long Halloween, but your casual basic fans probably don't know about this character. I would have done that. To me, that makes more sense. You want him to have more female characters? You want to show off females more? Take a female character. Take Sophia Falcone. You don't even got to make up a new character. Just use Sophia Falcone and just elevate her. Make her a badass boss. Maybe Carmine died, you know, and she took over. You know, do something. Or if you want to make her scary, maybe she killed her father and maybe she took over the Falcone crime family and she's going up against Super Thorn. Something like that. You can still make her, Sophia was a big woman. You know, she, you can have her, you can make her have super strength or something like that. Just, just elevate her. Do something like that. To me, that's better than taking the penguin. Are you, are we, are you, dead ass and making him six foot two and a woman because Batman needs more female characters. Now this show did give us more characters that weren't have never really been used. One of my favorites being Onomatopoeia, but to me it was just when I read that this morning, I was like, that is so. It's like I already had a problem with them making Penguin a woman, but it's like your reasoning behind it just makes it even dumber to me. You know, if you like Penguin being a woman in this, I'm not telling you that you're wrong or anything. I just, I thought it was horrible. I thought that first episode was a very mediocre start. Not my favorite episode in this series at all. But overall, I do like it so far. It's not the best, you know, but it, it's, it's pretty good. I'm gonna be reviewing episodes nine and 10 later on this week. So if you like my videos, if you like my content, stay tuned for that. I'm getting into, you know, the end of this and it's, it's I can't wait for season two to come out. That's, it is good enough to where I can't wait for season two. But guys, let me know what you think down below about all of this, about Bruce, him in this ridiculous take i can't believe it's coming from him one of the creators of batman the animated series bruce tim is a literal staple in the history of batman and batman's 100 year of history from 1940 to today bruce tim has made a mark on that character because in that show they had villains who were original original characters harley quinn was never in the comics she was from that show 
and then later became a part of DC Comics. Or even something like Mr. Freeze's backstory, his tragic backstory with his wife. That came from Batman the Animated Series. Mr. Freeze was never a tragic character in the comics before that. This show made him a tragic character, and now up to date, we associate that it's in the comics, it's in the Arkham games, it's all of that. But again, that came from Batman the Animated Series. So Bruce, Tim, Paul, Dini, those guys, they are literal staples in Batman history. They have made Batman history. So it's just mind blowing when I hear him say that. It's like you've made tragic characters and great villains. How can you say that he doesn't have good villains? I, I don't understand that. But hey, let me know what y'all think. I'll catch y'all later.